Okay, this is a pretty weird question. Let's have a look. We are given a system of equations, and it says that we have a number r, and it's asking us which of the following point lies on the line. Okay, what are we supposed to do, right? Well, this is actually from one of the simple SAT. And in fact, if you notice, 2x plus 3y is equal to 7, and the other one is 10x plus 15y is equal to 35. If you multiply the first equation by 5, this gives you the second equation. So 10x plus 15y is precisely 35. So if you look at the original system of equations, it's really just talking about one line, which is just any one of this. Now, remember when we have a coordinate, the first number right here, well, the whole thing is the x, and then the second is the y. So now you have two choices. Plugging this and that into x and y, don't do it here because the numbers are a little bit bigger and they're essentially the same, so plug into the original to see if it works or not. And that's how you can figure out the answer. And just kind of do the same for the rest. The first component is the x, and then the second component is the y, and we are going to just pretty much do the same thing. I think that would be the safest way to do this, so let's do it. Which one would you like to do first? As people would like to say, if you don't know what's going on, then just go for answer choice C. We do know what's going on, we'll still go with answer choice C. So just try it, right? If it works, it works. If not, nah. Okay, I'm going to put x, right? Put r for x into the first equation. Let's just use this right here. Use this. R in here, we get 2 times r plus 3, and the y is the second component, which we have 2r over 3 plus 7 over 3, and we will have to see if that will give us 7. We have to work this out, distribute the 3. This is 2r plus, well, they can solve very nicely, huh? So just get 2r plus 7. Again, the streets cancel when you distribute. Do we get 7? A little bit too much. This is 4r plus 7. It's equal to 7. We are not solving for r. We are trying to make sure that the left-hand side is identical as the right-hand side. So, no. Because we have the 4r right here. So, no. Hmm. I'm not going to go for d either because it's pretty much the same here if i plug in the component y i will get it's not going to cancel nicely because i will get a 2r and that's three times this it's not going to be a yeah it's not going to get a whole number it's not going to cancel also nope uh, i'm going to go with b right, try b plugging this into the x so right here we are getting 2 times x, which is that. Negative 3r over 2 plus 7 over 2 plus 3. And the y is the r. And do we end up with 7? Distribute the 2. This right here gives us negative 3r plus 7. Very nice, huh? And then plus 3r. Do we get 7? Yes, this and that cancel completely. 7 is equal to 7, so it works. Answer is B. Notice right here, I'm not assigning a number to R and I'm plugging. I'm plugging the whole expression, so once it works, it works completely. All right? Sometimes one of the SAT strategies is that pick some specific number for whichever the unknown and then test out. In that case, you will actually have to go through all the choices because sometimes maybe the choice will only work for one particular R for you. So be careful with that. But once you have plugged in all the expressions, if it works, it really works.